He enthusiastically endorsed the concept of AOPA giving away the first experimental airplane in the long history of its sweepstakes. And he's approved every expenditure required to transform this 12-year-old RV-10 into a showpiece. But until this flight, AOPA President Mark Baker had never flown any Vans Aircraft RV-10. So you feel it's a uh, it's a it's a free castering yeah. nose wheel requires differential braking for for steering. Looks like a B25. Okay, <laughs> that's not not in my repertoire, <laughs> but I'll take your word for it. Beautiful morning, though. Ah, it's, boy, it's boy. perfect. Okay, tell me a little about this uh, advanced deck. I don't think it's the first time I sat behind one. It's an amazing non-TSO. Uh, integrated unit that, that works beautifully with this uh, this Avidon IFD 550. Uh, 12-inch screen in the middle for, for multi-function display. 10-inch um, PFDs. Uh, two AHARs, so we got redundancy with the uh, with the attitude information. Frederick Tower, experimental 260 Mike Golf, ready for takeoff. Right the nose right here? Yep. We're ready to fly. You see, it's got plenty of oomph on, the, on takeoff. It really, really, oh, yeah. really wants to go. Visibility is awesome. Nice light performance, I'll say that. What is it? What's for again? 260. Huh. Feels like more. <laughs> we'll typically see speeds and crews of in the high 160 range. Like, but, uh, up, up high, we could get it up, you know, down to down to 12, you know, 11, 12 gallons an hour. And so it, it really covers the uh, covers the territory. All right, I want you to show me some of that fancy pilot stuff. Okay, clear left, looking right, making the turns. So you just see there, it has no hesitation to just crank into a, a hard turn and. It's pull right around, and and you'll see there's very little adverse yaw very as well. Well, you just stick that wing on a point though, and just put it around it, can't you? How about the stalls on it? Should we get set up for just? Sure. Let's let's uh let's go ahead and do some some slow flight and stall. Okay, pull back. A little rumble at 70. Well, it holds though, doesn't it? Yeah, it's it's not get, it's not ready to quit yet. It it'll it'll go down to the one it, down to the uh, low to mid 60s. Really? And you can see, yeah. It, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you get the stick back anymore. That's, 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 that's the that's the issue. It's like it doesn't really stall. It, it's oh. it goes full back full yeah. back elevator and it doesn't stall. Funny. But we'll, we'll put some uh, flaps in and you'll get a crisp break. Any any flaps I think you'd like. Right there, looks good. Yep. It's the flaps out boy. We're 55. 50. Wow. It gets to about 48, and it just says, all right, I'm done. <laughs> there we go. And we're off to the races again. Yeah, that is very docile. And really good. Quite impressive. Surprising, actually. Frederick Tower, Experimental 260, Mike Golf, 12 miles west uh, for uh, with information, Romeo, and request the option, please. And we're cleared for the option. Right on the center line. All right. Well, first RV 10 time. Makes you feel like an ace, though, doesn't it? Oh, it does. To, uh, you know, it's such a capable, capable and responsive airplane. Very much. And it feels very safe with those all speeds and, and the way it does. Lots of notice. Lots. Now that it's got Mark Baker's stamp of approval, look for this RV 10 to be awarded to its winner in the fourth quarter of this year. Good luck in the drawing. Dave Hirschman. AOPA Live.